Hello, in this video, I'll explain a typical TIPCO Vector Matrix Business Work 6.x application and its components using the invoking subprocesses sample shipped with PW6. Development or design mode of PW6 is called Business Studio and it is an Eclipse based environment and hence got rich features similar to Eclipse. The first step to develop a BW6 application is to create a workspace. This is nothing but a folder on the disk that will store all required files and resources for the BW6 application. You will be asked for the folder path when you start Business Studio. Specify a workspace directory here to get started with Business Studio. I have created a workspace BW6 sample here. Now let me first import the shipped sample invoking subprocesses in my new workspace. Just double click the zip file and here it is. This application demonstrates simple invoke services. The make noise process calls the invoke process with a single operation and a simple string message. The invoke process in turn calls the lock process. Invoke process simply returns input string as output and lock process does not accept any input and does not return anything. It simply logs a message. A typical BW6 works workspace can have multiple BW applications. That means I can import multiple samples into the same workspace. However, I would not do so right now for the sake of keeping it simple. As you can see, this application consists of one application call process and invoke and an application module. An application module is a subset of the BW application and contains processes as required. An application module can also be a shared module that can be used by one or more BW applications. The shared module can contain sub-processes, schema or visual descriptor files and connection resources. This particular sample does not have a shared module. App module also consists of special folders like module descriptor, service descriptor, schema. These folders must not be deleted. Module descriptor contains module properties, dependencies, components and shared variables. XML schemas are located in the folder schema. Some schemas are auto-generated when you run the wizard during development. Visual files are located in service descriptor folder and so on. Let's understand the BW processes now. BW process or subprocess actually implement the business logic using various activities. Activities are individual units of work in a process. This application has got three BW processes. Let us see one by one. Make noise dot BWP. It has a process starter activity timer. Open the properties of timer activity and you can see it is configured to run every 3 seconds for 10 occurrences. Connecting lines between activities are called as transitions. Transitions are used to connect two activities to represent the flow of process execution from one activity to other. This process is invoking a service and then writing the output using log activity and write file activity. Open the input tab of call process activity. You can see that uh, the current time is passed as input to this activity. Similarly, observe that output from call process is mapped as input to the log file and write file. Now, double click the call process activity. This opens up invoke.pwp, the process which is getting called when this activity is executed. It has a receiver activity as a starter activity and a reply activity along with an invoke activity. In turn, it is invoking another process, the log.bwp. If you see the general tab of this process, it shows it is invoking log service and log operation. Observe the other tabs of the process properties. Advanced tab specifies access specifiers and mode. Process properties lists one or more properties defined for the process. Service tab lists the services implemented by the process and Reference tab lists the references met. Here, the invoke process defines a service echo and it calls the process log. Verify this using services and reference tab. Check for the other two processes as well. Now, let us talk about the properties. Properties are used to define configuration depending on where, where and how they are defined, and properties can be classified into application properties, module properties process properties and activity configuration properties. Properties defined in the inner layer can reference a property defined at the parent layer. For example, a process property can reference a module property instead of providing a literal value. In this application, open the process properties for makenoise.bwp. Property output file is defined here and its value is mapped to the module property with the same name. You can open module property screen and verify the same. With this information, I hope you will be able to understand invoking subprocesses sample 
and other samples are shipped with PW6. To understand how to create this application step by step, watch the next video in this series. Thank you.